April 20th, 2022. Honorable Judge Wooten, thank you foremost and in advance for your invaluable time and concern in this very unexpected and incredibly confusing matter. I am writing in regards to the requested withdrawal, most importantly, of my attorney, Mauricio Padilla, and his, my team, filed on 418 2022 along with a continuance. Forgive me if this is the wrong approach in contacting you directly, but I wanted you to be fully aware of the magnitude of my shock and disappointment in the betrayal of Mr. Padilla as I have not in any way by anyone been provided any explanation for the aforementioned withdrawal, etc. I unfortunately had to learn of these documents by my former husband when calling to speak with my son. After making a commitment to me as my attorney over the past two years and two months ongoing to fully and sufficiently represent me, also being made to believe we were a team, I am completely blindsided nonetheless in how this was and is being handled by a professional. I do not understand. With that being said, Your Honor, I am graciously requesting to be included and present, please, at this hearing on Friday, April 29th, 2022 at 9.30 a.m. so I am able to learn more and also explain the ongoing legitimate hindrances I have been facing along with my inability to amply progress in the preparation for my upcoming trial and future. In my opinion, these concerns are what spurred these requests by my attorney in the first place. It is undoubtedly of the utmost importance to me to fight for my truth and which I thought my attorney was doing also. Thank you beyond measure for your very much needed assistance and understanding. I am flying blind. I don't know the process, procedure, or protocol for any of this since I have never been in the current situation I am in. I am eager to meet with you to further explain any and all questions or concerns whomever may have. Please know with great emphasis, I just want to move forward, especially for the length of time already being incarcerated and remedy this entire predicament, however that may be, in the best possible manner, having my best interest and security above all else. Again, I thank you profusely. I await your response with further direction in order to be in attendance and proceed forward. Exceptionally grateful, Sarah Boone. October 3rd, 2022. Mr. Bankowitz, I am writing in regard to not hearing from you and am becoming very concerned after receiving no response to any of my daily calls or from the letters I've sent. As of today, October 3rd, you have been my court appointed attorney for almost three months, 12 weeks, 84 days, and no only spoken to me three times on 7-14-2022 video introduction, 15 minutes. August 2nd, 2022, video update, 15 minutes. August 22nd, 2022, visit in person, 90 minutes. I have written two letters in the meantime also. My most recent I sent on 9-12-2022 with no response. I am unaware of the difficulties you are having in communicating with me, video, phone, letter, in person, especially via phone, which to me is the simplest form of doing so, even if just for a brief update, which takes only minutes. I believed by you giving me your personal cell number, you were going to answer. I would at least know all is well and have a better understanding of the status of some things, what to plan on or what I may need to work on. With no communication makes my end more difficult, drawn out and painful. Please figure out whatever necessary for my phone calls to be answered, which you will be reimbursed for when you submit your costs. 
it feels at this rate of communication and meetings and you just coming on board, not having all of my discovery to go over still on top of everything else to be done and depth, how much longer am I really going to be here added to the 32 months already? Especially if we communicate however you eventually do only one time a month, if that. As for all of the month of September, I know nothing from not hearing from you. I understand you have other clients as I am one also, and you've been recuperating from your back, but remember please how long I've been here. You are my sixth attorney, not by choice, and the magnitude of my case with not knowing what's going on or where you are, how much harder it is for me. I want to get on with my life, Mr. Banquets, and not miss any more time necessary for my son. I've already missed four of his birthdays and spent three of my own in here. Please understand. No, too, I am patient, clearly after all the time already invested, and still smiling and willing to go above and beyond whatever I or we need to do to properly and truthfully convey my very con convoluted, misunderstood side of everything, which I boldly told you in our meeting last month. I am dedicated, ready to start, overdue. I am so very grateful, Mr. Banquets, for all you are doing, have done, and will do. We're in this together, and I'm so blessed you are my attorney. God has put us in each other's paths for a reason, and I can't wait to see what you and he will do. I'm praying the six times the charm. Please respond. I await your response. Thank you profusely, Sarah Boone. November 3rd, 2022. Four weeks exactly since last letter. Honorable Judge Rutin, forgive me in advance for having to utilize your invaluable time to ask the, ask the current progress of my case, but after not having any form of communication with my attorney appointed by you now after 11 weeks and counting, after sending four letters to my attorney appointed by you with no response, and after finally finding an outside resource to inform me of the uneventful, confusing filed documents online by my attorney appointed by you, I am still waiting with the perpetual question mark over my head. No letters, no video visits, no face-to-face -face visits, no answered phone calls from my attorney or even a response from you, Your Honor, regarding one of my letters expressing my legitimate concern of what's going on in my case and where's my attorney. It has now been over four months since being appointed another attorney, number six, and not by my decision, influence, or choice, and almost three of the four months not hearing from said attorney, a 22 last correspondence. Why? What is the reason? Why haven't I received a letter, even a 15-minute video update, anything? Even after my PTC on 1025 is what truly confuses me and nonetheless upsets me, the fact that I was not in attendance so I could know what's going on in my case, especially considering I have not heard from my attorney in 11 weeks and should have been included. Why was I not? This is my case. Was Mr. Banquets even there to represent me? I don't know. Anything. Still. The problem is that my constitutional rights are incorrectly being waived without my knowledge or permission. I've never signed anything nor verbalized the idea I wish to waive my appearances to any of my court dates. I want to be present for all dates going forward, please, regardless the significance. All are significant to me since my attorney fails to relay any information in any way. If he's not going to, then I must myself and for myself. As always, my entire life. What else can I do? Who else can I seek help from? I have you and God, Judge Wooten. If I do have an attorney, where is he? 
there's so much to do all over in my case hopefully the right way this time off to a rocky start where I wonder how more extended my time will be on top of the almost soon to be 36 months three years already is this how the justice system really works am I being penalized for waiting wanting to be fully involved in everything in my case and intelligent enough to know how my case is being handled is unjust and from my point of view disastrous considering i'm still here sitting in orange county jail counting the days and praying my sixth attorney contacts me and i we can move forward finally coming to an end to this seemingly endless debacle you would think, considering the circus show my entire case is being made out to be with all the hype, sensationalism, and publicity, I received a letter all the way from across the pond, England, the other day. It would be being handled more professional, better. I learn something new every day about facts, events, and outcomes, in my case, from all the inmates and officers as well. I wonder if they might know where my attorney is. Bottom line, please understand, I don't want to be here any longer. I don't want to be hindered any longer in getting just to the starting line again. I don't want to be suppressed in being heard finally, truthfully, and correctly. So when, Judge Wooten, will I hear from my attorney? Or you please, just with some type of response, other than a copy of my letters I keep sending, which I already have. In the meantime, it is my understanding the following documents have been filed in my case since the appointment of Frank Banquets, my attorney, MIA. 711, Banquets appointed. 712, PTC order, pretrial 1025, trial 117. 829, pretrial canceled. 923, notice of unability state. 10-7, correspondence, my letter to banquets, 10-12, correspondence to defendant, copy of my letter. 10-24, notice of appearance for what? Had three years ago, not guilty plea, already filed? Waiver of appearance, never signed, agreed to? Compensation for what? What's been done? 10-25, substituting conflict counsel, who is my attorney? 1025 PTC 117 2023 trial 130 2023. That's it. In the almost four months I've been a client of Mr. Banquets, this is the only progress. What's next? Where are my copies of everything filed ever? This is one way I can have some idea of what's happening. And please remember, I have no access to a computer nor any reliable outside resource to check on anything for me. Please mail copies. I'm trying to come up with any solution possible to keep me, the other party in my case, informed and updated. This also is a part of the court's responsibility I would especially think, knowing I've not heard from my attorney in any way for 11 weeks plus, I want to be included. As always, I thank you for your time and understanding. Please help however you are able. I am not helpless. I am ready to get this show on the road and to hear from someone other than myself asking the same question over and over and over. What's going on in my case? Or how many more pens will I exhaust asking? Grateful and patiently waiting, I await your response. Sincerely, Sarah Boone. December 5th, 2022. Summary of progress. Numbers only, it's all I have. One, since appointed by court, Frank J. Banquet's attorney number six. July 11th, 2022, 21 weeks, 147 days and counting. Two, since last spoke to Frank J. Banquet's attorney number six, August 22nd, 2022, 15 weeks, 105 days and counting. Three, 
since pre-trial conference, no response from attorney or court. October 25th, 2022, six weeks, 42 days and counting. Four, since my last letter to judge regarding MIA attorney and case, November 3rd, 2022, four weeks, 32 days and counting. Five, total hours of time represented by Frank J. Banquet's 3,528 and counting. Total hours of time spent with client Sarah Boone, two. Where's my attorney? Where are you, Judge Wooten? I understand the holiday mode everyone is in as we inmates sit here and wait for it to pass. But before I, we come to the end of yet another year, almost three for me in Orange County Jail, it would be respectable of the court to please advise the status and location of my attorney foremost and also provide any real progress of my case which is difficult to do and further without an attorney nonetheless after being appointed so many i thought hopefully the level of dysfunction would be lessened unfortunately to date i am sadly mistaken and feel i've been severely misled even more unfortunate seems to be the lack of representation from any party of my case other than myself. Look at the numbers. In the meantime, and in preparation for the upcoming status hearing on 1220 at 1045 a.m., which I just received notice for, thank you for the inclusion. I am in the process of writing to our governor regarding the mismanagement of my case and the multiple added obstacles and deterrence I am experiencing trying to avoid any further time consuming hindrances or setbacks going forward. Some of the major legitimate concerns of mine are the violations of my constitutional rights, the degree of neglect and nonchalant approach by everyone in my case to substantially progress and the illegal non-permissive release and distribution by the Orange County Sheriff's Department of crucial confidential case files, videos, photographs, documents, etc. pertinent to my case, which I have not even seen or even know about. Everyone knows more than I do about my case. And as a result, it is impossible to choose a jury that will be impartial, fair, and uninfluenced by all the mutated, exaggerated, hyped sensationalism. This being a significant reason I requested a change of venue previously. At this point, it will make no difference. There's nowhere I am not known the premature, unfair judgment by everyone has wrongfully and inappropriately already been made. I haven't even seen my discovery or know where my attorney is, my sixth attorney. Not only am I the other party in my case still in the dark with everything, I am blind and in the dark. This is wrong, unfair, especially for a still proud citizen of the United States of America and unacceptable. There is more to everything, much more, and in which I've been patient to an extreme to explain, interpret, and educate what now seems to be to the whole world. I am hopeful the governor will be able to untangle the chaos and mistreatment. No one else seems to be available or willing to abide by the protocol of our justice system and rightfully, eagerly apply themselves. I'm hoping still these aforementioned topics can be further discussed at the hearing on the 20th and in which I am bringing to everyone's attention prior. I have not heard from my court appointed attorney to date, so I am unaware of what else may be on the docket. It's time to finally move forward and in all the right ways. Happy holidays, Sarah Boone. Mr. Banquets, 
I am also sending a direct copy to you in case the court and or judge does not, therefore giving no reason of any unsurety of my ongoing concerns regarding having no communication from you in any manner for almost four months. I believe the court and or judge would have seen sent copies to you of all my letters to them, but since I have been unsuccessful in receiving a c response or update by their side also, I am taking it upon myself to make sure everyone is aware I am still sitting here waiting on you. Please respond. I look forward to seeing you at the hearing, if not before then, with very much overdue and anticipated progress. Thank you, Sarah Boone. January 10th, 2023. Mr. Bankowitz, hello and happy new year. I hope the holidays were lovely and very memorable for you and your family. I just wanted to check in as I have not heard from you since the status hearing back on 12-27-22 and want to confirm you are still my attorney after your motion to withdraw was filed on 12-19-2022. It is my understanding you are, which is why I am writing to you directly, but also including Judge Wooten for fear I do not receive a response like the last almost five months, 21 weeks, 147 days. It is very important to me you are aware my questions and concerns for the anticipated pretrial conference on 1-17-2023 if you are unable to speak to me beforehand, which I am very much hoping you will be. Unfortunately, I am unsure what else to inquire about as I am unaware of any progress going on in my case. In the meantime, please see below and thank you in advance for the information and clarification. 1. Pre-trial conference Tuesday 1-17-2023. I would like to be in attendance. What time please? I have not received a notice via mail or heard from you to ask and no time was stated during the status hearing. Please make the necessary arrangements for me to be included. It is my right. Two, waiver of appearance. Please mail or bring the appropriate documents to unwaive my appearances going forward to everything I am able to be included on so I am kept updated with all and any status of my case. It is my right. Please note I have not signed any paperwork for you since the start of your representation, 7-11. 2022 as my attorney so I am unclear how my rights appear to appear was waived in the first place nor have I verbally given permission for the waiver if either please provide the signed copy at your earliest convenience three reason for withdraw it was not made known by you as my attorney or stated by the judge to the court during the status hearing. I was completely blindsided and still massively confused for the attempt as our attorney-client relationship hasn't even been established from the two hours we have spoken out of the now 4,536 and the general information it was when we actually did. If you had genuine, legitimate concerns, I thought from a professional, moralistic standpoint, you would have discussed it with me or at least mentioned, rather than being uncommunicative for almost six months, an entire half of another year for me just sitting here with nothing to show but the perpetual question mark still over my head. I would have hoped if you were unable to maintain your workload, which still presently includes me as your client, you would not have made the decision to take on my case and even give me selling points on all your capabilities and resources. Why? Please help me understand. We are supposed to be working together and for each other rather than against. It worries me futuristically. Also, I have not to date received the copy of your withdrawal judge wooten said i was included on when reading the certificate of service during the hearing please provide me a copy four phone account it was previously told to me by you in our one in-person meeting 822 2022 
that you already had this set up and were having your assistant look into so we could use. After not hearing any, after not answering any of my calls in the few I did make in an attempt to touch base with you to provide requested information you asked me for, I stopped calling you Mr. Banquets and have not to date since September 2022. I keep hoping you would call me or set up a visit even for 15 minutes, which has not happened. Please help me understand why you gave me your personal cell phone number. Also, to clarify for you, the judge, etc., I did not avidly search for the statements regarding your public reprimands in 2015 and 2018. In an attempt to speak with you from no response to my letters or calls, cell or office, when having someone look up any contact alternative and to confirm your address from a letter I sent that was returned, then resent, the reprimands were discovered and for the same complaint as mine, lack of communication. During the status hearing, when I made this known, I was not clear in the end if you were going to actually set up again the phone account to be used, which any and all callers, inmates, must have established in order to speak to family, friends, attorneys, anyone. It is nothing new or extra, and all costs incurred can be submitted for payment to the court as you have done in the past already. This is how attorneys communicate with their clients here in OCCD. Another option, in addition to 45-minute video visits, 15-minute at-home visits, in-person visits, and of course, the Postal Service. It would definitely make sense to use in avoidance of even more time being exhausted in the length between any visits in the future, which will only help the progress of everything. Will you be utilizing? 5. Discovery Case Materials In the status hearing, you stated you have two boxes of information that are out of order, order and unorganized. Have you organized and reviewed? How long have they been in your possession? When will, be, will we be going over? It is extremely concerning that this is all you have. It has been said there were three, five, six, a ton from some of the attorneys prior on my case. Which is it and what is there? Three years later, I am still wondering. I have also put in numerous hours, pages, pen, ink of my own information, which I am praying is in either of the boxes you currently have. Please let me know as the added amount of even more time to locate, receive, review anything missing from anyone, everyone receiving before then withdrawing will most definitely be extreme. I don't know what you have. I also could assist in organizing what you do have, considering it's all part of my case. I am eagerly awaiting and more than willing to help with this and everything else. I just need to see what there is, which I have yet to three years later. 6. Prosecutor Is there a new one in my case? I noticed his attendance during the three status hearing attempts and came to the conclusion there is. Since you have not communicated with me this or any information nor an announcement made by the court, I do not know. If so, what is his name? What is his background? Mr. Banquets, you must understand how insignificant I have been made to feel with the never-ending deb debacles, hurdles, and stumbling blocks I have and am going through and still facing still since becoming incarcerated. No one seems to listen ever. I refuse, absolutely refuse, to believe this my entire experience to date really is how our justice system operates. I refuse because, as said to you, Judge Rutten, the court, to everyone else in the status hearing, and to anyone who truly cares, my reason is hope. Never ending, no matter what, hope. This being the entire reason I am even here for my incarceration. Nothing is impossible with God, and I await my day to say my truth and side of everything. Please don't give up. I have not and will not, ever. I await your responses. Always, Mr. Banquets, thank you. Sincerely, Sarah Boone.